Welcome back once again here on Leading Edge for this Sunday. Jeff Smith along with two of my compadres here at WTOL. I thought it was important to have not only Christy Cabanas and Jordan Strack. Should I have gone Jordan Strack, Christy Cabanas? Nope, you got it perfect. No, I got it. Okay. Uh, anyway, Jordan Strack, Christy Cabanas, Christy Cabanas, Jordan Strack joining us from the WTOL sports team. Guys, I talked to Becky Newell in our first segment talking about the Solheim Cup. And I wanted to bring the both of you on here because I, I don't think uh, the viewers get an appreciation for what a huge task this was. One, to put the tournament on, but two, to cover the tournament when there are so many other balls up in the air. So, Christy, let's start with you because your top line, Jordan's down on the lower line right now as far as how Zoom figured this out. Let's figure out exactly how much planning, for the viewers at home, how much planning goes into something that has been years in planning well you said it years and it's every single day becky's dealing with something and you have to think of everything you only get one shot at it to put toledo on the map and to make it the best that it can be so you're planning every single day and it's not just what you saw at the one in 10 t it's not what you saw at the meyer pavilion it's every single thing things i would have never thought of and they knocked it out of the park it was perfect it was absolutely perfect what about you guys specifically, Jordan, from, from a sports department standpoint? Because you, you had, and I saw the picture you guys put up of John Jubai and also you and Christy and Troy, uh, four, four strong out there on the field. And of course, you know, from a news standpoint, we're out there occasionally covering it, but you, can't, you guys can't be everywhere at every moment when there's so much going on. How, do you, how did you get it done? Uh, basically cross our fingers and just hope that we don't miss it. Uh, no, I, I mean, there, there's, a, there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes that, that people, um, and, and I, I, can, I can assure you, I could, there's no way I could possibly, or we could possibly do this thing without, uh, you know, without Christy, without Troy, without John. Um, I, I'm so fortunate that I get um, amazing people to work with and they're passionate about it. I mean, every, all of us were so excited to be out there and we loved every single minute of it. Um, but, you know, as the golf is happening, it's different than a normal golf tournament. You know, normally during a, a marathon classic, we're out chasing birdies and just trying to get as many things as we can. And, you know, the first two days, you just don't know what's going to happen. With this, it's three days, and there's only four groups on the course at once uh, the first two days. And it's kind of organized chaos, and you're just hoping that you're in the right place at the right time. And you kinda, uh, you're kind of hoping that, all right, maybe a match is going to end here or a match will end there. Um, you kind of hope and, and, and uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, there's a lot that goes into it, um, but it was so much fun. Like we loved every single second of it. Um, you know, I've covered a lot of things in my, in my career at TOL and th this is right up there. I mean, this is up there with the national championship when the Buckeyes won. Um, this is up there with the world. I've been to three world series. I mean, it's, it's, it was an amazing, amazing week. Jeff, you should have seen our group chat. It was, Hey, go to 17, go to 18. I'm on 18 and maybe this match ends it right here. John's on 17, Troy's on 16. I mean, our group chat to stay organized and to catch that moment, it was, it's, it's awesome. Talk a little bit about what you got, because there's a social media aspect to all of this as well. And Jordan, you talked about right place, right time. Some of those times you were right place, right time, but you had to not only post it, but also make sure you were getting it for the nighttime. Yeah, so that's, you know, that's where I'm so fortunate. Like I, I have, you know, we, we've got amazingly talented people that work with. And so um, when I, when we kind of sensed that, you know, there was going to be a big moment or, or there was a potential of a big moment, um, like I was out at 17 with John Jubai uh, on Sunday uh, when Lexi Thompson drained her putt to clinch, up, to clinch and Jennifer Cupcho chipped in. Um, it was one of those things where it's like, all right, John, you shoot this for air. I'm going to shoot this on my phone so that we can make sure we get it up on social media and get it out to people quickly. Um, it, it's little things like that. You know, if, if you see a cool moment uh, in the morning, Christy's out at one and 10 and, and you see a cool moment, you know, get it on your phone and make sure we get it out to people right away so that, you know, there were a few people that weren't there. I felt like the entire city was there, but there were a few people that weren't there that we were also trying to help uh, as much as we could. Did it seem like 130,000 people over the course of the week, Christy? 
absolutely. I could tell you what the one in 10 T felt like I could show you, but unless you were there and that roar, it still gives me chills. Just thinking about it. Absolutely. Every bit of 130,000 and think about this Europeans couldn't travel and we still broke a Solheim cup record. Can you imagine what that number would have been in a normal year? Toledo crushed it. And I think a lot of people took notice, not only within the community, but the LPGA, the PGA, with what Inverness did at the Solheim Cup here. I think a lot of people took notice, and this is going to be huge for our city. I've got one final topic to cover with you guys. We're going to do that right after the break.